Fitness. We have a core class for you today. We call it Lunch Crunch. You can do it anytime. Guys, great routine. We have six exercises. We're gonna run through this twice, and it's in an interval format. We're gonna go 40 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest. We'll go through it once. We'll have a, a short 30 second break just to kinda catch your breath for a minute, reset up, and run through it again. Guys, it's 12 minutes. It'll do wonders for helping to strengthen and firm the midsection, all right? Including the lower back. So we're kind of getting all around all those support muscles, okay? Guys, if you may want an ab mat, that's all you would need for this routine. Um, and just some space to, to lay down, all right? Uh, we'll be changing body positions, guys, and I will mention a couple modifications as we go through. So if you have a hard time with a certain movement, guys, there'll be a couple things you can do to maybe tweak that a little bit, all right? Uh, we're gonna start out with some figure fours. Um, guys, the way this works, and this has a couple options as well, uh, we're gonna cross one leg over the other, and then we're trying to raise that leg up in the air, okay? 40 seconds can be a long time, but if you get to the point where you're feeling your lower back, where you're straining this hip flexor, what? Drop this down, but try to continue the crunch, okay? And if you have a hard time at the beginning, just start in this position, okay? So those are our figure fours. Guys, follow me, I'll do this in real time, and I'll mention different things you can do with some of these exercises, okay? So here we go, guys. I've got the watch here. Uh, we'll hit the start, guys, we're starting in five seconds. Again, 40 seconds of work here, guys. So raise the leg if you can, and then we're coming across. Guys, I'll do a subtle leg lift with this, okay? So if your legs are up, you can bring them in a little bit and really force that core to work a little harder. Tighten your core at the top here, guys, as you twist. Keep those obliques to fire. We have 10 seconds to rest, guys, and that'll allow you to switch these legs. We're already down to four. Three, two, one, and we're crunching. We're going to roll over. We have a low plank and we're going to do the opposite reach. Okay? So we're in this low plank position and we're going to lift the right arm, left leg. If you have a hard time lifting the legs, guys, you can just lift the arms. Pretty good exercise here. I'm trying to stay flat to the floor, so if you don't want to really raise up what, don't torque your body. Oh, guys really felt those. Whew. We're going flutter kicks. I don't want you too low to the ground here, guys. You can put your hands on your side or behind your head. I'm trying to hit those lower abs. I like to roll the shoulders up. Just engages that core a little bit more. Guys, yeah, those are the dogs, so. My apologies for all the background noise. Working from home, got kids, dogs, wife. Okay, set those down. Guys, next one, we're gonna do an alternating ceiling reach. Okay, so we'll keep the legs here with legs break. I like to have the hands behind the head, and all we're gonna do, guys, is we're just gonna reach up, come back down, reach up. 
reach up. So we're really trying to fire up those obliques. And guys, these are tough, even though they look easy, especially after the flutter kicks and the low plank reaches. So we're going to keep the upper body down, okay, so you keep your neck fairly neutral, and we're just going to lift up, slight pause at that, guys, and don't go too high, don't go too fast. Posterior chain side, which is like the glutes, the hamstrings, the lower back. So, guys, we're in the midst of our 30 second break. In fact, we're already about 10 seconds into it. So, I'm just going to roll over, guys. We have to go through that sequence one more time. Okay, so work out along with me, guys. We'll get through this together. Let's start with some figure fours. Remember, if a hard time bring the legs up, you can keep them down. Here we go. Three seconds. Oh man. Enjoy that short break. We'll switch these up. reach. The mat has this one to slide a little bit, so I'm going to keep my feet on the mat this time. So my feet are on the mat. Let's go left. Opposite. Remember guys, if lifting that leg is too challenging, just flip the arms.
We've got flutter kicks next, and my abs are feeling beat up already. Here we go. Hands at your side, or behind your head. Try to keep the legs relaxed, but straight. Slow deep breaths, guys. Hey, we're getting close. Has to be about 10 seconds. Five. Guys, now we have those alternating ceiling reach. Okay, so we're here, and I'm just gonna reach across the light to the ceiling and reach across. So the ceiling reaches are done. So we have, oh man, leg lift twist, guys. Hands down. Guys, here we go. Begin a little hip thrust with that. That's great. So I'm trying to bring those hips up as I twist. If you can't, no problem. Keep the hips down. And just try to twist the feet as you do your leg lift. So leg lift, twist. And we'll just alternate the sides. time reverse back extension all right remember slow and controlled here we go slow and controlled slight pause at the top seconds. Woo! All right. Guys, that was the core workout for the day. So that was our interval training. Uh, guys, a lot of different body positions. So I hope you had a great workout with me. Um, continue watching. We'll continue to bring a bunch of different type of routines to you. So from core routines to CrossFit routines to body splits to just a variety of techniques to just maybe keep fitness from getting boring and to keep your body kind of guessing what's coming next. So help keep you in better shape. So again, thanks for joining. This is Elite Fitness and we're bringing wellness to you.